visit Pokemon card market and buy Pokemon cards from base set up to latest evolution set with best prices, secured system and easy handling. Only for European players. How's it going guys? Once again, welcome back to Pokemon TCG Center. In today's video, we'll be looking at the deck for the standard format and in today's video, we'll be taking a closer look to the Insernior GX Vulcanian deck. So, a fire deck with Insernior GX, um, pretty cool deck in my opinion to play. Um, I think it's not that competitive as it should be, at least on the paper. But still, I like it. Um, Insurnier GX is 250 HP stage 2 Pokemon, uh, which evolves from the Torquette and from the Litten, um, with three uh, different attacks. The first one is a Hustling Strike uh, for single fire energy. It's uh, it's attack which can allow you to attack for 10 plus 20 more for each of your benched fire Pokemon in play. On the other side, Tiger Swing. Same uh, energy cost as the Burning Slam GX for 80 and flip 2 coins for each case you can go for like a 50 more or Burning Slam GX 200 damage counters and your opponent active Pokemon is burnt. Um, weakness of course to the, uh, to the water, true treat cost uh, which means it can also be searched with the heavy ball but against weakness um, we have that weakness policy which are actually good and it can help us a little bit against those water decks. Overall uh, with Insurnior theoretically um, we can attack for like 190 with one energy if we have um, eight uh, fire Pokemon on our bench and Professor Kakui available. With Tiger Swing for like 180 or 200, and with the Burning Slam for 200, 220, which is not enough for the one hit knock against some Pokemon with uh, Fighting Fury Belt. So, in order to be able to beat Pokemon with 230 HP, for example, I'm running three copies of Volcanion EX simply because with three energies were for the steam up. I can go for like um, 220 with Volcanic Hit and with Professor Kukui I can go for like 240 which is gonna be enough for the one hit not against pretty much everything which is popular at this moment with 250 HP. Unfortunately not gonna be enough for the one hit not against Insernior but you can always take one copy of the um, Fighting Fury Belt just if you don't feel comfortable and if you think you're gonna need it for example. Uh, for the big deals. Um, so 16 Pokemon in total, 34 training cards and 10 energies. I think how the deck um, is pretty balanced. Um, only only card that can actually be tech um, is maybe one copy of Fighting Fury Bell, so you can have the 250 HP which might actually require us uh, in some uh, games, but still it's not that easy to have three energies, Professor Kukui, Fighting Fury Belt, and especially if you have one Kukui, one um, Fighting Fury Belt. So, um, four, one, three line of the Insernior GX, three, three line of Vulcanion and Vulcanion EX, and two shames for the setup. Uh, from the item cards, I'm running two copies of a Nest Ball. With the Nest Ball, I can search my deck for a basic Pokemon and put it on my bench. Um, so, Nest Ball is a good one, it can search, us, uh, it can search deck for the Litten, um, Volcanion, Volcanion EX. We don't want to search our deck with the Nest Ball for the Shame EX, because if we do that, we can't use the setup. Four copies of Rare Candies, decide to go with four of them, simply because I want to have that turn two. Um, and certainly you're ready to go uh, for a heavy amount of the damage with only one energy card. Uh, one copy of Super Road, uh, three copies of Trainer's Mails, four Ultra Balls and four V Seekers. Stadium decision was of course a Skyfield, so I can have eight Pokemons in play. Uh, but also it can help me if my opponent decide to remove my Skyfield, it can help me uh, somehow to um, remove my um, Shamans or my uh, damaged Pokemon from my bench. Pearl City can be a big deal for this deck, it can definitely uh, make a lot of problems, but still, even with the Pearl City, we can recover uh, simply playing Super Road and uh, putting more Pokemon on our bench. Uh, Hexmanic times one, same as the Lysander. Three copies of N for the draw support, one copy of Olympia, simply because. All uh, Pokemons actually required uh, two or three energies for, uh, for the retreat expect for the Shaman. And of course, Olympia makes a lot of sense. It can switch uh, my anti Pokemon to one of my benched Pokemon. And also, I can heal third damage from that anti Pokemon that has been switched to the bench. Um, one copy of Professor's Kukui for extra 20 damage and uh, extra draw um, cards. So I can drop two extra cards with Professor's Kukui. Uh, four copies of Professor Sycamore, this card hand draws seven fresh new cards. One copy of Flowstone just to have that free uh, retreat uh, in case if I'm gonna need it after one of my Pokemon has been knocked out. Two copies of Weakness Policies so I can have 
and protection against weakness with my um, fire Pokemon and 10 basic energies in total. Of course, the main strategy with this deck is gonna be to start turn one if it's somehow possible with Lucanian and Power Hitter in your active position. To have at least one copy of Volcanion X on your bench and Litten, so you can discard uh, energies with the Steam Up. Um, use Power Heater to uh, accelerate your bench and Pokemon with the energies turn two, simply to get that rare candy into insert your Genie X, and then you're ready to go uh, with big attacks. Um, overall, I like the deck. I feel and I think it's not the top competitive deck as it should be, but still uh, it's a deck that has a lot of potential, especially in the future. And I think how inserting your GX might be a big deal if fire Pokemons get something like a blacksmith again. If you're looking for any of these cards, you can find them on ccgcastle.com with TCG Center 5 code. You can also get 5% discount on your first purchase. Make sure to check that same as the um, other promotional um, stuff like uh, trading your bulk uh, uh, into the uh, sealed sun and moon uh, garden raising booster box you can also check that in my video description so let's do one game and see how this deck works in action make sure to subscribe to the channel if you already didn't for more videos let me know what you about uh, let me know what you think about this and certain your gx deck and uh, of course about the certain your gx card so see you in the game all right guys so waiting my opponent to determine if he wants to go first or second and unfortunately no basic Pokemon in my opening hand. I'm gonna start second here, not a big deal. Not a big deal going second, maybe even better to be honest, simply because I can attack with my Volcanion at my turn one and uh, charge some energies from my Discord pile to my Pokemons on the bench. Speaking about starting with Volcanion, um, that's perfect start. Have very nice um, cards in my hand like an Ultra Ball and Shaman and Fire Energy, so plenty of good options for me. On the other side is gonna be very, very, very uh, good known to me, of course, um, West Queen deck. Oh boy, I don't like that deck at all. It's so freaking damn good, um, especially with um, Vaporeon and Evolutions. There is Wanderlock, Double Course Energy. And the float stone for his combi on the bench and one acro bike. I mean, the good thing for me is if I can find um, only one copy of Volcanion EX and one steam up, I'm gonna be able simply to max out his um, West Pequod here. So that's definitely one good, um, one good reason for me to use that Ultra Ball um, for that Volcanion then simply use that steam up and uh, play shaman then sycamore for seven that's the very important uh, piece of puzzle and the key to success versus his west Pequeen. on the other side of course he decided to retreat his west Pequeen down to the young mega so i'm still gonna use my ultra ball i don't like the i don't like the fact that i have so many um support cards in my uh, hand but I'm gonna be okay. So there's gonna be one Steema. After that, I'm gonna play one copy of Shaman. Of course, versus West Between and Yon Mega, you really need to be cautious uh, and smart playing those um, Shamans on your bench. So there's gonna be um, Ultra Ball, and Ultra Ball is gonna be for Uncertainior and uh, and no doubt about it, I'm gonna play my Sycamore for seven. I'm gonna get myself another um, Litten. Put it down to the bench and Sycamore for seven. It's important for me to have 250 HP beast in the front. That's for sure. So there's a weakness policy. It's gonna be um, Trainer's Mail for a V Seek or a Sycamore. Nope, not gonna happen. Trainer's Mail number two for N. Not gonna happen again. Just a fire energy to be attached, and I can even play my Skyfield. Why not? And use the Power Heater. Use the Power Heater only for 50, but at least I can have one energy attached to one of my um, Litens on the bench. So, Klefki discarded. So far, only four Pokemons in my opponent discard pile, which means that he can't even go for the one hit knockout for against my um Vulcanion. but he can go for one hit knockout with his young mega versus my litten with the um, weakness policy on the bench 
why in the world I even decide to attach that weakness policy, I don't know. I don't know. I was not able to discard it, so why not to attach instead of just shuffling it back to my deck. So, I um, have one more level ball in my hand. There is also Ultra Ball, which is not bad. Um, there is Energy Card, a Rare Candy, two copies of V-Seekers. I mean, I'm probably gonna use V-Seeker for end this time. Who knows what's gonna be the top deck. Um, there is Ultra Ball for my opponent. Of course, if you want to attack with your Mega, uh, if you have exactly four cards in your hand, you can ignore all effects. Uh, of energy uh, costs, but unfortunately right now my opponent have um, three cards in his hand. He have three items on his bench, which is powerful. Powerful enough to drop three more cards. Um, three, four, six Pokemons in his discard pile with three items is gonna be nine. Still he's not gonna be able to go for the one hit knockout with his Wespy Queen. I'm not sure if he have... oh, there's a Salt Beam just for 50. Alright, that's okay. That's more than okay. I have Olympia in my hand, but I can't benefit from it. So I'm just gonna grab myself one more Litten. I'm gonna put it down to the bench. I'm greedy monster. I want to have as many Littens as I can have. Uh, one more energy to be attached to my Litten. And of course, I'm gonna use my VC for M. Don't want to discard this time my um, Rare Candy. But also don't want to discard my V Seeker. But speaking about discarding, I didn't pull nothing good. So that's just gonna be um, a level ball for my Torquette. And after that, I'm gonna attack for only 20 damage counters with my power healer. That's so bad. Really it is. Really it's so bad. Um, I'm still having a hard time setting up my Insert Near GX, but I have three uh, Littons, two Littons and one Torquet available. Which means sooner or later I'm gonna have three Insert Nears, and once I manage to set them up, 250 HP versus 90 HP West Between, it's not gonna be good for my opponent. Um, good thing is that he also played that um, Forest of the Jump Plant, he allows me to discard my Shaman, which is welcome for my opponent. There is one Acrobike. There's gonna be another Mega in his Discord pile, and there's another Wespy Queen, which means that probably he's right now gonna retreat down to his... Oh no, he's gonna use Firewall Leather. Alright, three Wespy Queens on the bench. In the long run, um, without Flair, uh, without Vaporeon, my opponent simply cannot... I don't see how he can actually win this game. I don't see how he can win this game because... 250 damage with single shot... I think it's impossible. I think it's simply impossible to do. So there is another Skyfield, and I'm gonna play my N, and I hope I'm gonna get one in Cernia right now, because that's all I really need. Yep, not the one, but I actually managed to pull two of them. And I think this is gonna be literally it right now. Um, there's a rare candy, that's gonna be second in Cernia for me. Uh, more than that, I also have a one on Vulcanion. More than that, I have option to retreat down to my Cernior. I can even attach my Fire Energy to one of my, let's say, Baby Volcanions. And that's gonna be Hustling Strike for like 220 damage counters, which is more than enough for the one hit knocked against that Wespy Queen. It's the first prize card for me, and it's another Litten. And of course, he's gonna promote his Wespy Queen. In the front, so he have four, five, six, seven, eight, ten, eleven, one hundred and thirty, one hundred and forty. Well, he can two hit knocks out my um, Insernior, and if you're gonna trade price cards, oh, he even have that Wild Bloom. God damn! In price card trade, he can definitely win this matchup easier than me. So, I'm gonna need that Olympia so badly. Oh, Olympia top deck would be so nice. In that case, I could heal three damage counters and force my opponent to have that Lysander play for the Nagabi. But he's also down to eight cards. And probably he wants to get the last knockout or last two uh, knockouts versus my either way Volcanions or Lipens. So, there is Ultra Ball. 
he definitely trying to thin his deck as much as he can and throw as many Pokemons in his disco pile as he can. I don't see the sign of the Lysander, but I see 6, 8, 9, 10, 12, 13, 14, 16 Pokemons. That's 180 right now. He can go for 180 damage counters at this moment, which is insane amount of the damage, which means that he can one hit knock on one of my Volcanion EXs on the bench. So I definitely need to be uh, alerted right now because that West Queen uh, became very fat. And there's another Ultra Ball, which is gonna be for um, two more Pokemons. 200, all right, right now he can go for 200 and there's a Battle Bee. 200 damage counters right now my opponent can do. Um, the problem for him is that I'm gonna end him down next turn to five more cards. So he might just run up the resources. Well, there's a VC group, and of course it's gonna be for N. Right now with that end, he's gonna have only two cards I think available. Nope, three cards available. So I'm still looking forward to power up my one of my Volcanians. I don't know, it does not make any sense. Why should I even attach energy cards? I can simply use my steam up and knocks out his West Pequen with my baby Volcania without too many problems. So there's one more prize for me, which is gonna be another fire energy. All right, so two more Pokemons in his discard pile, my friends. So that's, that's insane. I'm not looking, I, I didn't see a single Revital Laser. Um, I only see one double core energy. The more important, I don't even see a special charge and a life center. But my opponent right now have plenty of cards available in his hand. So he decided to promote Bottle B, which means that he's probably gonna try to use that um, Retelier or yeah, he's gonna try to recycle two cards from his discard pile back to his deck. Which means, unfortunately for me, right now I don't have access to the life center, so I can go for the Naga versus his West Queen, which is important. But what I, what I have is three energies. So one, he's trying to recycle back to his deck. Let's just wait for a moment. So one double core is energy. All right, what else? One DC. I mean, he gave me the extra turn, which is big deal. I don't know where is his Lysander. Maybe he's prized. I wish there is some kind of the card that can actually um, show your opponent prize cards to you. Um, just another Insernior as the top deck. So he have 2, 4, 5, 6, 9, 10, 11, 14, 16, 20, 20 21 with the Bottle B. It's gonna be 21 with the Bottle B. Um, 21 with the Bottle B. 2, 3, 4, 5, 6, 7, 8, 9 energies, um, not looking forward to play my, nope, definitely not looking forward to play my um, Sycamore right now, even Sycamore would be nice, so 110 for the knockout, one prize card for me, which is just the weakest policy. Since I already have my Floatstone attached to my Volcanium, that's the reason why I didn't want to go with my Sycamore, simply because of the fact I would probably go for the knockout with my baby Volcanium against my opponent, a young Mega, or his um, West Pequen. So there's a Mist Determination. He can discard one card from his hand in order to get one card from his remaining deck, because he only has uh, three cards available. And it's a double core's energy. And with the salt beam, unfortunately, he can max out my Insernior, which is pretty bad. But at least right now I can max out his Yamega with my Volcanion. And of course I'm gonna do that. Of course I'm gonna do that, so that's gonna be one steam up. And it's gonna be one energy from my hand. Uh, right now I can go for 50, that's more than enough for the knockout. So energy to my um, Volcanion, Sycamore for 7. There we go, there is a very important Olympia. Uh, look 
looking forward to play my super road so I can recycle back my insernior and maybe even that energy card which I'm probably gonna need so ultra ball for shaming and fire energy So I can retreat down to my Volcano and strike for the Naka with my power Heather and I can attach some energies to my Pokemons on the bench. So let be something like this. Okay, so I'm down to two prize cards. My opponent is down to three prize cards. I have Olympia, but he have probably access for the one hit Naka versus one of my um, Incerniors, which is definitely not good. How many combis? He have three combis in his Discord pile, which is probably gonna be it. Which is probably the end of the game for my opponent, simply because he need to play that Revital Laser. I didn't see a single Revital Laser, not even... Okay, there's a special charge. We shall see if there's gonna be maybe a Revital Laser. So, one double cores energy recycled back, which means that one of these two cards is double cores energy. And I can't say if there's... Oh, there's a beer revenge, so that's the GG. 260, my friends! He managed to strike me for 260 at the end, which is insane amount of damage. Um, but, unfortunately, he didn't have that Lysander in the early game, and he didn't even have something like uh, Revital Laser to recover maybe one more line of the West between down to his bench for the victory uh, at the beginning of his next turn. So yeah, that actually cost my opponent victory in this game. But Incernior is definitely a big deal. Incernior is very powerful. It can strike for the one hit knocker without too many problems. Um, 250 HP, um, three powerful attacks, um, powerful GX attack, and for only one energy you can strike with that Hustling Strike for like uh, 170, 190, depending on how many Pokemon you have on your bench and if you have available Professor Squid in your hand. But overall, guys, I hope you enjoy watching this video. Make sure to hit the thumbs up and subscribe to the channel for more videos. Uh, let me know what you think about this Insert Your GX deck and, of course, about Insert Your GX card. Um, stay tuned for more upcoming videos. Later today, I'm also going to upload that Mega Evolution, another Mega Evolution deck from Mega Evolution series. So, see you in the next video. Have a nice day, wherever you are, and uh, goodbye.